There's been a lot of controversy here in Siouxland and nationally over whether or not businesses can ask you for proof of vaccination. Well, one restaurant says they're going to do whatever they can to protect their customers. Taj Simmons has more. The Blazing Saddle is the epitome of a safe space for Iowa's LGBT community. Owner Mongo Eichelberry hopes to also keep it safe from the Delta variant. I don't want to have your problem infect anybody. Starting this week, if you want to have a shot inside, you have to prove you received the recommended shots of the COVID-19 vaccine. Iowans will do the right thing. Well, then why do we have so many cases? Even with the requirement, the bar filled up Saturday afternoon, with some patrons saying they now feel eager to go back in the saddle. It's great to know that other people have taken the initiative to get vaccinated and that I can feel comfortable around other people and socialize. However, it is difficult to follow Blazing Saddle's lead due to a recent state law. Iowa legislature passed a vaccine passport condemnation in May. It disqualifies businesses and government entities from receiving state contracts or grants if they require customers to prove they're vaccinated. Governor Kim Reynolds rallied behind the bill before she signed it. It's a personal choice. But I strongly oppose vaccine passports, and I believe that we must take a stand as a state against them. Eichelberry says he is willing to risk the consequences because the LGBT community knows the dangers of a deadly virus all too well. I don't need any more dead friends. I went through the AIDS epidemic, and I lost God knows how many. Blazing Saddles' next-door neighbor, Buddy's Corral, will also start requiring proof of vaccination after this weekend. A sign the East Village is becoming the epicenter of Des Moines' push for vaccines. I'd rather have that than a tube down my throat and maybe die. Taj Simmons, 